So the next thing in working on this journal is to start adding our pockets and tucks. And this is something that is a little bit of a tip for you guys if you're new to journal making. Now, as you look at the journal, you can see this is a wide spine. It's three fourths of an inch. This here is only folded over. And then this is, I think, a quarter inch spine. What you're going to want to do so that your journal lays flat and is not what they call gator mouth. You want to put more of your pockets in and tucks in the wider spine area. And let me just turn it over and show you what I mean. Okay. So if you look at it from this angle, and I hope it shows it, I have a lot of room um, that where the, the spine itself is condensed down here. So I've got a lot of room for that to expand and still be flat. So again, that is where I'm going to put the majority of my tucks and pockets and ephemera. So that's that side. As you turn it over, remember we have another three fourths inch spine here. And so that's this area. So again, I'm going to put the majority of my tucks and pockets and ephemera in these wider areas. I will do a few here in the three fourths inch or the half inch, I think, or quarter inch, I'm sorry. This was the quarter inch. And I will only do a couple. Do you see where this is just flat? I will only put a couple of things there. That way, this part of the journal will not bulk out so much. So I've already looked and done a little bit here and there. Let me go back over here to this bigger one, okay? So as I look, this is the three-fourths inch area spine and here it is in the journal itself and it has two signatures so in this area right here is where i will put quite a few things i've already started i did a corner tuck here and i added three different pieces of ephemera there I did a pocket here and I added a tag there. So what I will do is I will go through and do some of that. Now this is the second signature. This is where I did like a little flip out. You can journal here. And I did over the page pocket to where this comes out, there's a tag in there, and then on the other side, this flips out and you can journal there. So be mindful when you're putting things in a journal that, that that's what you look at. Now there's here on this side of, of um, or on this page, on the other side, I did a little bit of a, a pocket here. Now this is upside down. So if you notice on this side, it's the exact same page. If you kind of, you know, look, I covered this 
with a little bit stronger paper. I did a little notch hole in it. And so then it is the right side up as to where if you look at it here, this is upside down. So what I'm going to do, and it's a very kind of a thin paper. So I'm going to go through my papers. I'm going to find a paper that will go there. And then this upside down writing will be hidden. So this is what I did to cover that. That was upside down. Like I said, I added a stronger piece of paper and then just a small little label over the front of it. So as I continue to work on this signature, I wanted to show you something that I thought I would add. So this is from a Tim Holtz stamp and I stamped it on both sides. This looked kind of plain. So I thought I might add that there as a little flip out and then you will be able to journal on both sides. So it's easier for me if I turn it this way so I don't get confused on which way I need to put my um, washi tape. And this is a washi tape that is a little bit of a purple color. So what I do is I measure it and then I cut it. Then the next thing I do is I fold it. This is the one that doesn't have, um, it's not sticky until you pull off the, the backing. So then what I do is I fold it in half and let me just pull this page and let me put this book weight here and bring this down so you can see. And then the next thing I do is I only pull off the tape on one side to start out with. So just so that it will line up well. So let me see if I can get this edge here. Sometimes it's a little finagly, but I can kind of feel the stickiness. Oh, there we go. Okay. So what I do is I only pull off the backing on the one side. Okay, so that is revealed. The stickiness is there, but the other thing as I do is I go ahead and still add just a tiny bit of three-in-one glue. That helps me be able to move it if I don't put it correctly. So what I'm going to do is set it on my page where I want it. And actually what I'm going to do is just hold it like this and hold it like that and stick that down first. Push it up against the side there we go then once i pull this off and add a little bit more glue to it then i can stick it to my page so i'm just going to hold it and i what i do is i line it up with where i want it and start kind of Pull, pulling it close, pulling it close, pulling it close. Then when it's about even of where I want it, then I fold that over. Then 
then if I need to, because sometimes there is a little bit of adhesive here and uh, it feels sticky, then I will add another piece there. And I think I will just to kind of bring in a little bit more color. You could also just put a piece of paper there, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this washi tape just because it's so pretty if I can find the end. And I think what I'm going to do, yeah, that is just so pretty. I think what I'm going to do is not fold it in half because I want more of the washi over here. So let me just kind of open, do that so that it doesn't fling closed. Yeah, there we go. It may be sticky enough if I didn't put any extra glue, but I don't want to take a chance. So let me just add a little bit more here. I can't remember where I bought this. It may have been, um, what is the name of that? That The washi tape shop. They have a lot of that washi that is um, backed so it doesn't get stuck. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it more to the edge of the blue or less to the edge of the blue uh, and more to this paper and then fold it over. And so then now I have a journaling spot there. Then the other thing I did is I created, I wanted something as I looked at this page here. It again, it just, I like the butterflies, but they're very, very plain. And I had that writing there. So what I did is I took a piece of Rachel's from Roxy Creations, her digital, and I folded half in that way and half in that way, folded it in half, clipped the notches there, added one of her labels to the front because to me this looked too dark and I put a couple of tags in each one. And so now I'm just going to glue that on there. And I think what I'm going to do so it will adhere quickly is I'm going to add just a little bit of glue here to this edge. Not right at the fold line. I hope this will work. Okay, and then just add that there, and then I didn't give it enough time to dry. <laughs> I just need to hold it there for just a minute. <laughs> Because I want to be able to also fold, because see this folds out, I want to also have this fold out, but it may not be able to do that because the glue's there. See, and then it's, well, let me just see if I fold that and kind of crease that down, it might but it might also tear the paper. I needed to make sure I had plenty of room so it didn't impede here. I suppose if I had cut it down shorter, that would have helped. 
it's it's actually it's working it's it's opening both sides so if i add just a little more because this is really held down well by the glue i think what i'm going to do is open that up there find a piece of like thinner washi and run it down there just to kind of hold that a little bit more let's see here let's maybe bring in a little bit oh thank goodness that bottle was <laughs> empty oh shoot okay i'm going to bring in some of my greens here because i think that might look nice this is kind of pretty it's got the flowers there I'm just going to do this. I like this. So what I'm going to do is just tear it. I may have to tear off just a little bit of the, the bottom down here to get that up there. But definitely I do know it needs a little bit extra glue because this is not a, a really... Um, high quality washi my ceiling fan is going so it's making things move okay Do you hear Fiona snoring? Yeah, she's snoring. I'm going to add that there. And then I'm going to have to tear off just a little bit at the, at the bottom. Or actually, what I could probably do is just snip this off here. See, I can see where the paper's torn a little bit. Let's just snip that like that. No, I was going to pull that up, but I'm going to cut it off. Sorry, I got a pin in my mouth. But I will flip this up. That gives that page just a tiny bit extra strength. All right, and then we'll see what this looks like here. So it's definitely helped that nicely. Yeah, I think we're okay. So both sides open up. Okay, perfect. Okay, yes, this worked perfect. And so I'm actually going to end the video here. Uh, like my girlfriend used to say all the time in the ER, I'm up to my elbows and alligators and I'm trying to get so much done before my trip. So um, that's this one. And I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks and bye-bye.